Hey y'all, welcome back to Biz Vibe. Today I'm showing you the Santan Scramble loop. I think there's a total of three loops in the 50K race and some variations for the shorter races. Um, but today I'm just gonna do one of the 10 mile loops that I'll be doing for the 50K um, come 2021. Enjoy! This right here is the start of the trail. It's nice, wide, and straight for a while, which makes for easy passing and social distancing. This is nice crushed gravel with some sand, so it makes for super easy running. We're going uphill. Though it looks flat, there's actually a bit of sneaky climb here. It's hard to notice until you look at your watch and wonder, why the heck am I going so slow? Into some little windy parts. Kind of fun. Still going up. I'll call this winding and grinding. That's awful. But doing some fun little turns, quick up and downs, and we're still going up. Very evident in the way I'm breathing. Tell me what you feel like. Tell me, is it real? Tell me, do you feel the same? Tell me what you feel like. Do you feel what I feel? Is this love? As the trail gradually begins to climb with some short windy sections, there's a lot of dips along the way. A lot of these dips are in and out of washes, so they're fairly steep, making it hard to maintain an even pace. I found they kind of broke up the momentum of my run, which I didn't love, but they were kind of fun. that view that cool thing lots of saguaros lots of little foothills around lots to see I love the desert so I really I really enjoy this kind of landscape and it, it's a pretty neat one Ooh, there's a little gopher some fun views here as we get into the foothills tell me what you feel like tell me is it real Tell me, do you feel the same? Tell me what you feel like Do you feel what I feel? Is this love a waiting game? Tell me what you feel like Tell me, is it real love? Tell me, do you feel the same? Tell me As the trail continues, the uphill and the downhill is a bit more defined. You're no longer running in and out of washes. Instead, you're doing short little hill climbs, all of which are runnable, in my opinion. Around the five mile mark, there's a nice long gradual downhill. This was nice to let my legs run and stretch out because shortly afterwards, there were some switchbacks up to the top of another fun downhill. Go up. This is a runnable uphill, but for 50K, you might want to 
power hike it to give you a little break since you'll be doing it three times. When you go up, means you gotta go down though. The down's gonna be fun. This is the kind of trail I live for. It's gonna be a fun downhill. on the trail it's not bad and it's pretty short just a bit rocky and just like loose rocks I guess we're going back up sure cool I just thought I saw the visitor center so I thought I was done now we're going back up good to know this is why I'm out here y'all it's just like super, just loose rock everywhere as you go up. It's steep and it's the rockiest part certainly of the trail. This one deserves a good power hike, I think. So be ready for this guy. We're gonna be doing it three times. mean every other part of the course is beautiful look at this you're like wait what where did this come from I see the top There are a couple things to consider as far as the race goes one though it's flowy like if you were on a mountain bike it'd be super flowy um there's still it's hard to maintain like a consistent pace um, because of those washes because of the turns and then of course that last climb kind of throws off your pace quite a bit i think it took me it was like a 15 minute mile um, hike up there that's for one loop third loop probably be a little slower than that um so that's one thing something i'm not probably gonna do is power hike the little the little hills out of the washes i think there's enough momentum that you gain on the downside of those washes to get you to the top of the other side um i feel like if i were to power hike i guess i always have a rule of thumb like always power hike the hills um but if i did that i think it'd slow me down significantly um over the course of 31 miles. So I probably won't do that. There's one other thing I thought of, but I can't remember it right now. Overall, it's a pretty course, not very technical, minus that one climb. 
Um, it's really steep, which I don't like because it's hard to run it fast downhill. Otherwise you just kind of get out of control. So I'm just gonna mentally remember that, chalk it up to take it easy on the up, take it easy on the down. It'll be slow and try to gain some momentum on the other part of the course. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If y'all will be running the Santana Scramble 50K or all the other distances, let me know in the comments down below if you've been out here. If you've run it before and have any other tips for anybody else, you're welcome to comment those down below. Thank you again and happy trails. Making this video reminded me of the cruelest part of the course. Not coolest, cruelest part of the course. That is these benches. They are all along the trail. Resist the temptation to sit down. It's gonna be hard, because they're like everywhere. They're everywhere on this trail.